Hello and welcome back to the Let's Play Stray. This will be episode two, and as I mentioned last episode, it'll be a minimal commentary. I will still talk. I'll be reading things that happen. I might react to some things, but for the most part, we're just going to try and enjoy the atmosphere of the game. So if that's something that you might enjoy, please like the video, maybe leave a comment down below, and then at the end, I might ask you to do that again. Maybe I'll ask you to subscribe, but I wouldn't ask you right here at the beginning. Alright, let's get started. That key unlocks the door. I remember that much. Let me get that for you. Very good. Battery low already. Come over here. You're going to have to put this on. I don't think I liked that. Get it off. Get it off. Backpack was designed for small quadrupeds like you. Is this uncomfortable for you? Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I've digitized the key and stored it in the backpack. Easy. If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me. Or to others, if we come across any. Let's get out of this flat. I have no idea. It was probably up there on the wall, wasn't it? I already forgot what button to make the light. Three, seven, four, eight. Wow, look at this place. That elevator in the distance? That's important, I think. I know we need to go up. drops in some parts, probably because it's a new game.
Wait, I remember the outside. Feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? I promised someone I would go there. I promised who? This postcard. The mural was painted from it. Let's take it. Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. Safe zone. Don't know where I'm supposed to go. Here. I can't stop to think because they'll jump on me. stupid right now I'm sure but I just don't know where I'm supposed to go I don't, oh okay I didn't see that pop up there They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone.
You look lost. What do you need? Oh, a picture of the outside? Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it is impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. They're all gone now, except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Don't hesitate to call me anytime. I'm here to help. The Guardian told us to talk to Momo up in the big building with the orange neon sign. It's the only lead we've got for getting out of here. You gave us such a fright? We thought you were a Zerk. Oh, very pretty. You really thought you'd take the elevator? We're seeing that thing work. I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Such a beautiful dream. What a shame it's just a dream. Why go up there? There's nothing up there. I think Momo has some pictures just like this. Did you show it to him? I take care of the plants. The humans improved them so much, now they require very little light. I just add a bit of water and look how big they get. It really is an amazing technology. Some people tried to find an exit in this city. It didn't go well. Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. The blue sky, ha, huh, I will write a song about that one day. You do look a little like a Zerk. Far away, at least. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things chew through metal, and they're terrifying. Is that the outside that Momo keeps talking about? No thanks, I'm not thirsty. All the weird stuff always happens to you, mate. I don't dare to leave our village, it's too dangerous. Besides, the Guardian is the only one who can open this door. It's a pretty picture. Fake, but pretty. I've heard that the Barter Man is looking for stuff like that. I left it in the streets, the next day the Zerks had consumed it completely. It's crazy, right? They can eat everything. Well, thanks, I'm not thirsty. Another picture of the outside? Get out of here with that stuff. It's all nonsense.
It's a strange notebook with a symbol on it. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything's going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They're in a place called Midtown and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes, I know this look, he will not come with us. I don't know what this means, but it'll probably be useful later. We should go see that Momo person who Guardian told us about. The circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Outside, Momo told me he'd get me there one day. I heard that the barter man's looking for stuff like that. A music sheet? Don't play an instrument, sorry. Oh yes, everyone around here knows this symbol. It's the Outsiders. They live on the upper floors of this area. You can probably talk to Momo about this. Please don't bother Vapora, she's so clumsy. Ventilation power supply. Remarkable companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. 
No, this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. Cool down. I think I can play this. Look. Thank you for the music. I will practice. Think you could find more? It's a very old binary code you have here. Only a real geek can read this.
Outsiders. The city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There's a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. I believe my book's a big blue sky is hidden behind it. Back home too, I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? Never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you, what do you want? This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone. And I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that your transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from the Zerks. It's signed Clementine, Zabaltzar, Doc, and Momo. Looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? You found Clementine's notes. She was really brave, you know. The most fearless person I ever met. My notebook. It was the last to join the Outsiders. I'm also the last remaining one. I need to find two more notebooks. Symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Isn't that where I... I already visited this place, but we could check out if there's other signs like that. Nice. There's one right there. I don't remember getting a notebook from there. I've got to search in here a little bit better to find a notebook.
Definitely didn't find one in here. I didn't find one down there either. inside that box. Nice work, another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zabaltzar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. Got one more to find. I want to go back up high. That's how I found. Well, re found this one. We have there and there. I would imagine it to be over. Yep. Over to the right. Hey, Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42.
I have to admit, I'm a little confused on this one. There we go. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be able, capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh. It's also a note in this book. It says I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. This we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show them what we found. Alrighty, we're gonna end this episode there. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment down below. I've been Alan Enraged, and I'll see you next time.